Hey everyone, Mike from MyTechie here. Here to report to you from uh, Italy. I'm going to make another little add-on to one of my previous demos. I showed you on how to do a countdown timer. Uh, very simple by using that space bar and uh, getting into countdown. I uh, previously had a request from one of the uh, viewers to go ahead and show you on how to do an animated countdown. Uh, what I'm assuming he was speaking of was uh, using like a tween light class of some sort. And uh, so I'm here to show you on how to do that. First off, you can go ahead and open up your internet browser at any point in time, and you want to go ahead and navigate on over to Tween Light um, website. It's uh, made by a company known as GreenSock. So if you just simply type in your Google GreenSock, you should be able to come up with the GreenSock website. I'm trying to get there right now. I'm forgetting my internet slow here. Oh. Oh. It does not look like I'm going to be able to get there. But if you go to Green Sox website, you should have, you should be able to find the uh, Tween Light uh, link. You go ahead and click on that, and then click on Download. Now I'm not going to be showing you on how to do the AS2 uh, version of the coding. I will be showing you the AS3 example here. Um, again, this does play off the old demo that I did before, but the countdown timer. So if you haven't watched that yet, definitely go ahead and look at it because this is going to be going to playing off that code. So. It, once you go ahead and download it, you're going to go ahead and want to dump that into your folder, wherever it be. I have a local development folder here. I dumped it in. And you can see right here, I have the timer class. Uh, I have the timer FLA file. And then I have a COM folder, which basically when you download it and unzip it, you'll get a COM folder. And inside there will be the green sock. And under there, you're going to see the Tween Light AS class right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go open up our FLA. And at the very, very top, we need to go ahead and import that uh, class object. So we're going to go ahead in here and type in import. Then we're going to type in com.greensock. Now be careful, it's very important that you do put all lowercase or however it is spelt within the actual file itself. And you don't want to change that structure because it will break. Um, so here we're going to go ahead and put com.greensock. And we're going to do between light. And that's it. So that's as simple as importing it. Now, what, what our main goal here to do is to do a tween when the object is going ahead and changing from one number to another. Now, we're doing that already by changing the number here, but however, we're not, and we're updating it, however, we're not tweening it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go after we count down and, um, and put the, the counter text equivalent to whatever our countdown current seconds is, we're going to go ahead and tell it not only do that, but also go ahead and tween this object from a 0 alpha to a 1 alpha. Now remember, it's not action script 2 where it was 0 to 100. It is now only 0 to 1. So we're going to go ahead and basically call the tween light class. And in there, there's a method called the from method. So we're going to go ahead and type in from. Now this method accepts several arguments. The first ar argument is going to be what object do you want to tween. So we're going to go ahead and type in counter, because that is our object that we're going to go ahead and tween. It's right here. And then we're going to go ahead and pass in the second method, which is how long do you want to tween this object? Now, this is in seconds, not milliseconds like we had before. So make sure that you do read the documentation on this class of the tween light, and you'll see that it is in seconds. So we're going to go ahead and say, go ahead and tween it for 0.5 seconds. And then we're going to go ahead and pass in the third object, which is an actual object. And... Um, sorry, third argument, which is an actual object. And the object we're going to go ahead and pass in is the alpha object. And we're going to tween the alpha object from 0 to its current opacity, which is 1. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and save this really quickly. And we should be able to go ahead and launch this and see what happens. And as you can see, we get the timer again. And if we press the space bar, notice how we get like a little tweening right between it. Now it's very quick, and if it's on a YouTube video, I apologize, um, but it's, it's very quick. Now, I only did a 0.5 tween, however, I'm counting down every second, so I don't want it to be that long, because I can't go to two seconds because of the fact that it's already past that object. So let's go ahead and equivalent it to what we're actually counting down by, which is that decrementer of one. So we're going to go ahead and put it there, and we'll go ahead and relaunch it and see what happens. And as you can see, it's a little bit longer. You can see that actual tweening of the object happening. So hopefully this helps you guys out. This is a quick little tutorial to add on. Thanks to Serbian for uh, going ahead and uh, recommending this uh, tutorial. If there's anything else we can do for you here at MyTechie, let us know. And this is Mike. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.